Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a acrylic rainbow sugar effect nail. I have been wanting to do this for some time. The inspo is from Tao from Not Polish. She is so so talented and I had seen this on her Instagram a while back and I had just been meaning to recreate it so we finally are going to. So these are the five colors that I'm using. All the names are shown in the beginning as well as down in my description box with direct links i do have a discount code with not polish which is myra and i'm going to be swatching them for you guys just to show you what the colors look like before i actually go in and do a nail to show you guys how to do it but um these colors are just so vibrant and pigmented i wanted to make sure that they all work together and that they were the right colors I didn't do the complete rainbow, I was missing two, um, but I just decided to do with these five because the nails weren't gonna be like super, super long. They were kind of more, they're, they are long, but not like extremely long. And I felt like five colors was enough. And I'm just completely obsessed with how they came out and how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and keep on watching. So here are the colors, the red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. So beautiful, so pigmented, just like all not polish acrylics. I don't need to say anything else. You guys know that I absolutely love not polish acrylics and products. And the nail tips that I'm using are the 3XL Coffin Nose C-Curve tips from my website, Crafts by Nine. The Practice Finger and the Practice Finger Insert is from Vita Bella. And um, we are gonna go in with the application now. So I had to kind of like in my head divide this into five parts because I usually am used to doing like an ombre, which is two colors or a tri ombre, which is three. Don't normally do five. So I definitely had to picture it in my head to see where each color was gonna go so that, that they all fit on this one nail. And let me tell you guys, I envisioned it pretty perfectly because it like worked out, you know, in the end. So just envision it in your head. If you need to do like a little small line on the nail so you can tell yourself or remind yourself where each color is going to go. Just like a little tiny dot or something where you can barely see it. Obviously, you're going to cover it with acrylic, but be very careful if you're using clear tips because you obviously don't want to see the lines under the nail. Um, but yeah, I just did this like in my head and I visually thought about dividing it into five parts so that the five colors would fit together and it worked out. So blending colors, it can be very difficult, but not polished acrylics just makes it so easy. I mean, these colors are just very, very pigmented, but they're very easy to work with. You just have to work with a little bit at a time because of how pigmented they are they're very thin acrylics and so you just work your way um if you feel the need to blend up and put the first color back do that that's exactly what i do you just have to see that what's working for you if you feel like like right here i added a little bit too much green and it overlapped on the blue so i went in with a little bit of blue and then blended it up and you know just mixed it together like i said these colors are very very thin because of how pigmented they are they contain a lot of pigment and so it's very easy for you to just do layers and layers and layers without them getting super super thick as cover acrylics would um, because of how thin they are so that's something that i absolutely love about pigment acrylics that they're very very pigmented and that you can work your way up you don't have to worry about them being too thick or anything because they're very very thin on its own um, just keep in mind that with pigment acrylics, you do have to go in and encapsulate to create the thickness that you want, unless you're going to use a lot, a lot of product, which you don't necessarily need to. You don't need to waste a lot of product. You can just go in with the clear acrylic and waste the product off of that and just create the thickness, the apex and all of that that you need. So then I went in with the yellow afterwards and this yellow is super, super pigmented always make sure to like um, mix around the acrylics too when it comes to pigment acrylics i didn't do that this time i forgot because it's been a while since i used um pigments uh pigment acrylics 
but make sure to do that just so they it like mixes in especially me that i leave them sitting for so so long before using them again just so they blend together nicely and creates like that perfect consistency and color that um it's meant to be so now i'm going in with the orange and oh my god these colors are just so vibrant and beautiful and then the last color that i'm going to be using is the red and always make sure to use very very wet beads so that they mix together nicely especially where i live right now super super hot um and so it does tend to dry a little bit faster but i always use really wet beads when i'm doing an ombre because i get very very scared because i'm like oh my god is it gonna dry too fast and not blend so to be on the safer side i just do it very very wet um if you guys need me to explain things a little bit more i know i'm not the best at explaining things that's why i keep videos in real time for you guys to just see how i'm actually working um but I, I try my best. If you guys like have any questions, always feel free, free to DM me on Instagram or comment down below. Um, and once I see the comments, I go in and comment. But yeah, here I am all finished with the actual ombre. And now I'm gonna go in with the Not Polished Clear Acrylic to encapsulate everything. And I like to use wetter beads as well. It's very hot and I don't want any bubbles to be showing through. Such a beautiful design, such a beautiful nail. So I use wet beads and then just um, work my way and I apply a, another bead on top of that one so that it creates a very nice apex and it creates the thickness that I want. Always make sure to look at your nails from every angle to make sure that it is what you wanna work with. Of course, this isn't a real client, so you know, they're not picky. <laughs> But with the real client, you definitely want all your nails to look cohesive, all your nails to look the same, have a nice apex, and just look all put together. So always make sure to like turn your nail around, look at it from different angles and everything. And now I'm finally done with the application of the acrylic. Once that is completely dry, this is what makes it all come together. Not polishes sugar effect. So what I'm gonna do is, I couldn't find my little mini spoon for whatever reason, and last minute, I just got a um, cuticle pusher, which has like a little like thing to pick up on one side. And then I'm grabbing my no wipe top coat from my website, Crafts by Nine. And what I'm doing is I'm applying the glossy no wipe top coat over the entire nail, being very, very careful because if you get any on the skin or anywhere else, that sugar effect is going to stick to wherever that glossy no wipe top coat is. You do not want to cure it because that is what is going to stick the sugar effect on. So it needs to be uncured. You just apply the top coat and you sprinkle the sugar effect wherever you want it immediately after. I obviously want it on the entire nail. Um, and so I'm being very, very careful not to touch the nail because it can come off because of the glossy top coat. So just be very, very careful and then just sprinkle it everywhere. It's gonna stick to only where the glossy is. Even if you get it anywhere else, it won't stick on because there's no glossy top coat. So just be very, very careful and spray it everywhere. Try not to make a complete mess because it can get very, very messy. Um, and then just shake off any excess, tap on the nail put it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then grab a dust brush and just remove the excess grab a lint free wipe with swipe and just go around like the cuticle area and stuff to clean it up and it is done i mean this nail is absolutely gorgeous can you imagine a full set with this Ugh, amazing i hope you guys like today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on my post notifications to get notified every time i post a new video i have been posting about three times a day so i hope i mean three times a week so I hope you guys have been enjoying that and thank you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye guys.